is grossing a few people out. <laughs> Courtney here with your two minutes of mayhem. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to do with that last story. But okay, here we go. Let me start off with this first one. Uh, now, while some people would dread coming face to face with a snake, one kid decided to catch one. Yes, he did just that. Caught a snake without breaking a sweat. This two year old, two year old by the name of Jensen Harrison, has apparently been busy catching snakes on the Gold Coast of Australia. His parents are professional snake catchers, and their little son has been following them on some of their jobs for some time. Now, his parents say that their son is a born natural and he's not afraid of them at all. Now, I don't know about you, but I mean, if I were to see a snake out in the wild, I, you know. I would I would go the opposite direction. I wouldn't yes. go to try to catch the snake. I do that with I... most animals. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Fur or scales. Police is going the opposite direction. Oh, it's crazy. All right, morning. This next story is definitely going to gross you out. Now we all know that when it comes to swimming pools, especially public ones, there's definitely a little oh, there's a little urine mixed with the water. Uh, According to a group of researchers from Canada, they took a task on finding out exactly how much urine is in a swimming pool, and they determined that it's about, what? get ready, no. 220,000 gallons. What? What? Now, let me, let me let that just sink in, okay? Okay? All right, you're, I'm done. That's it. <laughs> That's the end of the story. 220,000 gallons in a pool. That's disgusting. 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 All right. You ready for this one? Some pairings just meant to go together. You got peanut butter, jelly, ham, burger, milk, <laughs> cookies. But one man has decided that he wanted to be adventurous and combine two of the weirdest foods. This guy has decided to dip his pizza in a glass of milk. <sighs> what? Mm-hmm. Say what? Pizza dipped in milk. That's just wrong. why. It's wrong. It's blasphemy. If you have such an me. idiot. Right? <laughs> So let me paint the picture. This guy had some bits of cheese and other things floating inside his milk, and he was perfectly okay with drinking it all with a little extra seasoning. No word on, uh, the, or rather, the word on the street is that Jason Maloney also oh. enjoys pizza and a glass. That of does milk. not surprise me Such at an all. Idiot. Right? Not even, right. not even remotely surprised. Yeah. Uh, but he's willing to try the dip, the slice of the pizza in a cold glass of milk. So I'm thinking we need to field test this. Yeah. And get toots a piece oh. of pizza and a glass of milk, and just see how this goes down. Yeah. Right? I, I mean, if think you think so. about it, <laughs> cheese is dairy, the milk is di I don't know. I'm just trying to help the situation out. That's it. I'm up. Two minutes of man. I mean, if you, maybe it's like a little on the spicy side, the milk helps counterbalance that. See, you're trying to help it out, too. There's no way to help that. Yeah. You can't help that. Well, just for